This presentation covers an overview of ISPF Productivity Tool for ZOS. As you will see in the next few slides, ISPF Productivity Tool is more than just ISPF. A development organization's time is valuable. Programmers often write shortcuts using C-List or Rex programs to help with repetitive tasks and share these tools with their peers. ISPF Productivity Tool standardizes the shortcuts and tools you need to be more productive with ISPF. Think of the time this will save you. ISPF Productivity Tool will help you increase your productivity when using ISPF. ISPF Productivity Tool works as an extension of ISPF. All ISPF Productivity Tool functions are totally integrated with ISPF. You do not have to initiate a separate product within ISPF to use ISPF Productivity Tool. They work together as one product. You can use ISPF and ISPF Productivity Tool commands during a session. You can use object lists to organize your files and use enhanced member selection lists to locate and work with PDS members. ISPF Productivity Tool minimizes panel navigation and improves productivity from anywhere in ISPF by making functionality available from any panel with shortcuts. ISPF Productivity Tool can perform most any activity within ISPF or internally invoke the function that can perform the task. Productivity improvements are realized with ISPF Productivity Tool by providing over 50 global commands and providing a very fast, extensive, find capabilities within files or a list of files. In addition, nagging problems with PDS files, such as insufficient space or directory blocks, are easily corrected with minimal keystrokes compared to ISPF. In addition to the ISPF Productivity Tool global commands and shortcuts, ISPF Productivity Tool introduces a new concept, an object list. An object list is a list of entities to organize work. For example, you can have 20 or so files related to a project. In addition to the files, you can also have several DB2 tables that are used to validate the program changes. The code can be in software configuration and library manager libraries. There can also be specialized Rex execs that are used to test the code. All of these entities can be stored in a single object list. The list provides an easy way for you to locate all the data related to the project. Actions can be performed using an object list, such as searching all files within an object list, or browsing or editing data within the object list. Object lists can be created with simple commands, and they can be manipulated with various commands to exclude lines, sort the lines, or validate the entries. An object list can be a list of files, as shown on this slide. It is similar to the standard ISPF DS list option 3.4, but with support for additional types of objects and function. An object list can contain many types of entities, such as Unix system service files, vSAM files, DB2 tables, sequential files, or tape files. It can contain migrated files based on file names or file name patterns. It can also contain SCLM, PAM valet, or librarian files. Files can be accessed by their DD name references. For example, the command oldd isppLib will show all files associated with the DD name isppLib. Authorized program facility files, files located in the linked list, and LPA resident programs can also be easily accessed by an ISPF productivity tool object list. In summary, an object list can help you organize your work. A member selection list, or MSL, is a list of members of PDS or PDSE libraries. It looks similar to the ISPF list of members. But with ISPF productivity tool, you can manage the member list with commands such as filter or tag, which identify the members you want to process. You can also sort the members in the list. A MSL is shown on the right side of the slide. The presentation of the MSL on the screen can also be customized. Global find and change commands provide extended search and modify functions without leaving the member selection list. Copy and move functions honor the list of members you have identified. Copy and move commands also provide extended functions such as only copying or moving source members which have been updated after the target members. If the PDS or PDSE directory becomes full, the PDS is expanded automatically, provided you confirm the PDS expansion request. You can also empty a PDS or recover a deleted PDS member from the MSL. As with object lists, hotbars are provided for commonly used commands. These commands, shown in red in the member selection list panel, are point and shoot commands that can be invoked by putting your cursor under the entry and pressing enter. ISPF Productivity Tool provides functionally expanded panels for ISPF options 1, 2, 3.4, and option 6. You do not need to enter a new ISPF application to use ISPF Productivity Tool. This provides seamless integration into your standard ISPF tasks. For example, when you list the PDS members, 
ISPF provides a set of commands you can use on the member list. ISPF Productivity Tool provides a member selection list with the same ISPF commands plus many new commands which increase the productivity of your team. This seamless integration helps to minimize your learning curve and get you productive quicker. You do not have to spend hours learning ISPF Productivity Tool to use it. ISPF functions are still available after the ISPF Productivity Tool product installation. As you learn more about ISPF Productivity Tool, you can begin to become more productive using the new shortcuts and tools available. ISPF Productivity Tool provides many features that make it easy to learn. The IPT question mark command presents a list of ISPF Productivity Tool global commands or shortcuts. Action bars are available to guide you to the correct command. When using an object list or member selection list, the assist or A command summarizes each object list or member selection list primary and line command available. An example of assist is shown on the right side of the slide. You can also display the command syntax and examples by entering assist followed by the command. For example, A filter provides the details of the filter command. The IPT new command provides information on the latest release of ISPF productivity tool. The next set of slides will take you through 10 examples that show how ISPF Productivity Tool can improve your productivity. In the first example, you want to find the member LDBCXT in any of your JCL libraries. The command ol dnet 424asterisk jcl will list all of your JCL libraries in an object list, as shown in the slide. The find mem command, abbreviated fm, will locate the member as shown in the bottom of the slide. As shown in the previous slide, you search for the member LDB CXT. Using ISPF, you might need to perform up to 39 steps to locate a member within 13 files. With ISPF Productivity Tool, using the single find mem command, this task requires only one step. In example 2, within the same object list of 13 JCL libraries, you want to find the text JCL lib in all the members. Using a find text command within seconds, ISPF Productivity Tool will locate the first member with the text JCL Lib. All PDS libraries identified by the object list are searched for the text JCL Lib. The find text command, abbreviated FT, will search data sets much faster than using standard utilities. As seen in the previous slide, you search 13 PDS libraries. There are several ways to search for text in PDS libraries using ISPF. However, ISPF might require over 60 steps to locate text within PDS members. When searching with ISPF, the number of steps varies by the number of libraries to search. Using ISPF Productivity Tool, only two steps are required, no matter how many libraries are searched. The ability to use case-sensitive, double-byte character set, and hexadecimal search strings has been added with ISPF Productivity Tool version 6.1.